Hello everyone, here we are again, T. Mahal. Um, trying to do some more boating projects for you guys, trying to show you what I'm working on today. On one of the episodes, I was working on the downrigger and I put the connector down together to show you how that worked. But today I'm actually installed the other part of the connector, the male connector inside the boat to where the connector can plug into it from the downrigger. This right here, we'll be, be installing. So as you bear with me, like I said, I'm new to boating. So beginners for boating, I just want to show you how I'm doing things. I'm not saying anybody else can do it any other way or different. I'm just saying how I do things. My boat, I bought it, I paid for it, I owe nobody. So I'm just sharing my experience with everybody else. So if you like it, I ask that you subscribe. You check the box to get reminders anytime I'm doing something and so, and like it. So let's check it out. Here we go. Okay, here we are again. Hopefully you can hear me. I have a mask going, so I'm trying to keep the dust particles out of my nose and my mouth because this is fiberglass. So I'm hoping everyone can um, see this. What I did, I made a one and three quarter inch hole. You should have just did your, um, put a hole there and then made one and three quarters. But I did mine different. I just took my bit and put a circle and I'll just guess in the middle. It don't have to be accurate. If it's outside the blue, it's no big deal. But what I'm showing you is I'm gonna put a hole here. Cause here's my batteries down here as you can see and i want to be able to run to them and i came up from the back side it's nothing back here so i'm not going to hit anything so that's what i'm gonna do so bear with me while we drill this hole so i'm lining up as center as i can this is going to be close enough because like i said i didn't measure it like they wanted me to so i'm just going to go through go slow now i'm there through that hole, now I gotta get through this. This might be a little tougher, so we'll check it out in probably four fastest. Let's go. I'm back again, as you can see, my battery died, so it's all part of working on projects. Um, so let's try it again with this new battery. Here we go. And there you go, the hole's drilled. <laughs> These little wires back there, but I knew those were there. So now we got that drilled, let's move to the next phase. Okay, here we are, we got the hole drilled, but putting this in, it's a little tight with this piece. So what I'm gonna do is just take me a little bit like this and just grind it out just a little bit. Now let's try it, see if that's better. I think that could possibly be a better fit. Let's try it, see what happens here. Okay, here we go, here's the connector. And there we are, fits perfect. Now I just have to mark some pilot holes here, put my three screws in, then I come down here at the bottom. Give it a minute. This is my wire, I'll connect it up to the red for my battery, which will be in this terminal block, and this will be all that for the black, for the terminal block, and that'll be it. So, I'll show you the finished product. I don't really need to show you that part, but here it is. And what I'll do, like you see the connector, I got it turned a little bit, it's going by there kind of quick. I'll turn it like this, that way it's straight, straight up and down like that. There we go, that's how it's gonna be. And we'll put the cannon plug like that. We'll put our three screws in, and that'll be it. So I'll show you the final product when I get through with it. Here we are. What I did is I drilled a pilot hole and I drilled another hole. What we're gonna do is just put the screw in the hole and tighten it up and put it in. And then after that, what I plan on doing then is, once I got them all like that, I'm just gonna drill my holes through here, line it up and drill them through there. Then put the screws in. So let's check it out. So let's see what happens here. You'll see I got it there. Got the screws ready. I should have put this over. I'll spin that around. Because I want this. It'll go like this. It'll cover it up. It'll be the dust cover to cover everything up. But I want it to come down. So what I'll do is pull it back out and spin this around. So if I turn this around. Let's try it again. That's it. So make sure your seal is behind there. 
See mine's off a little bit, which is still okay. Just gotta make sure that steel stays behind there so it's not water from, prevent water from coming back there. So that's it. I'll put in the other two screws. Then I'll connect my wiring up. But like I said, it's however you want to do your, however you want to do your wiring is to keep to this because your wiring might be different than mine or where you're going to connect yours. Like I said, here's my wires. I plan on connecting to a terminal block for the positive and a terminal block for the negative. But I plan on putting like a little connector on here on mine so it can slide on and slide off. Then after that, it has power. And then I'll finish installing my downrigger right here. I got a, a connector that just sits down in here like the fishing pole. Then once I get all that done, I'll show you my end product. So just stand by. So here we are, connector's done, it's all connected, it's all mounted, we'll clean it up, get the dirt off of it later, but it's all mounted, now just like I said, I gotta run an electrical piece, I'll run an electrical piece, let you guys check that out, then we'll be ready to check out the downrigger. Okay, it's Big Al again, we're back to do the electrical portion now, if you look, um, I mean, how I'm wearing mine is, I wanna be able to, if I shut my master power off, and don't have all on, I want this winch to be off. In order to do that, I found my terminal block. This is the, the power that runs the power. I mean, this is the line that runs the power to that master all switch. It, two of those are batteries that comes up to there directly. And once you turn this off, it don't allow power to come through here no more, which is great. So what I plan on doing is connecting the winch up to this. That way, as long as this is on, either one, two or all, I can power my winch. If it goes to off, it shuts it off. Everything shuts off. That's what I wanted. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. That way if you wire yours, you have to think about that. Do you want your winch powered all the time? I don't want mine powered all the time. If I want to be able to shut, if I shut off this power master switch because I want to shut off on my boat for whatever reason at night, if I'm at home, I know that winch is off. All right, just a heads up for the electrical. Here I am again talking more about the electrical. They recommend that you put a 30 amp breaker in between the red wire coming from the winch to your power source so what I did is bought this red wire right here and you see in the middle it holds a fuse to hold the 30 up fuse or to hold any fuse to be honest um, but what I did is you pop this cover off it's hard to pop it off with my one hand and trying to film but you get my point up under is a fuse Let's see if I, okay there we go and there's a fuse. And what I did is I put the connector on this end, connector on that end. This connector is what's going to connect to my terminal to my boat. This connector is going to connect to the wire coming from the winch. In the middle is a circuit breaker. If you have some issues, it will pop this breaker. Then what I could do, this fuse, then I can replace the fuse. So I just wanted to let you know that. I got this, I think, off of Amazon. If not, I'll put the link down there. If I don't, if it wasn't Amazon, I'll put the link down where I got it from. I bought like a pack of six, and then you just put the connectors on you want. Okay, thanks. Here I am again. Um, here's the block. I mean, here's the connector I was telling you again with the fuse, right? So here's the connector with the fuse. This is the wire coming from the winch, which is really this connector, to be honest. It's coming from this connector. The winch is going to plug in that. This is the piece I bought, so you connect it to this. Now, this is what's going to connect to my terminal block to my boat. This is going to connect to my terminal block from the negative side to my boat, terminal block to the positive side. Now I have power to this when I turn this on, to one, all, or two. Right now, this is off, there's no power. That's how I want it. Because once you actually turn this to one, all, or two, it runs power from here to the terminal block, and it runs the power to your start on your engines. That's how they get power, it's through here. So anyway, that's where we are. Thanks for watching. Okay, I got the wiring done. This is to the terminal block. This is the fuse. I already strapped it in the tight wrapper to make everything look nice and neat. But this is really coming from the winch. And it comes to this power there, connector there, positive. I did my negative and I put it over here. Here's my negative. Like I said, I got everything all tie wrapped, it's all nice and neat. Now, if I turn this to all, that has power. This has power. And what I'll do, I'll test it in a minute. I'll actually put the winch on and turn it on, see if it works. So let's wait, see what happens. 
Look, here I am back again. Just a quick hold job. The winch is plugged in. Hit the power button for up. See, it's going up. Hit the power button for down. It's hard to try to do this and hold it in my hand. Hit the button for down. So there you go. Everything's working. That's it for now. Once I get it mounted up here, I'll come back and give you a finish up the video and let you know everything's done. But everything's connected and working, so that's a blessing. All right? Stand by. Okay, here we are. Got the rigger, I mean, got the cable connected up. Got the connector connected. I connected the down rigger to it. You see how it's going to be. It'll come up here like this. Here's the down rigger itself. Here's my switch. So what we could do is bring it up. We could bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it up. Bring it up. And that's it. The connector's on. That was the purpose of this video to show you how to do the connector. It works great. Just unplug it like this. Put the cover on it. And you're all done. Look at that. It looks professional. All done. That's how you put the connector on your downrigger. Again, this is Big Al from Team Mahal. Um, just like I said, we're just trying to show you things for beginner boaters. Um, that's what I do with that connector. We got the downrigger. I got another video showing assembling of the downrigger. Um, I'll make another video showing you how to install that terminator that goes on the cable of the downrigger. And then I'll also show you how to connect the ball and all that stuff up. And I'm also making a video to show you roughly how it works. Um, but I ask that you visit the animation that's from Canon. Canon has, their, has a great animation on their site on how downriggers work. But I'll give you a concept, a little bit of a concept of how it works. So anyway, thanks for joining. Um, I ask that you subscribe. Click the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. But thanks again. If you like the video, hit like. If you got comments, put comments in. I'll be more than happy to get back with you. Thanks again.